consider the emergency declaration in March 2020, which gave way to the lockdowns and quarantines and school closures in the United States. There are study after study showing the Johns Hopkins University study, uh, University of Munich study about Germany's lockdowns, which were much more intense than those of the United States, that they did absolutely nothing to slow the spread. What we do know, and this you can just open up yesterday's edition of the New York Times to see the toll that these school closures took on poor youth going to public schools who were deprived of schooling, is that they did enormous social damage, may have killed tens of thousands of people. A new uh, UNICEF report, I believe it was UNICEF, it was a UN report found that children around the world missed their routine vaccination appointments uh, as a result of the lockdowns and the disproportionate focus on COVID vaccinations. Uh, we saw a spike in violent crime in 2020, especially crime with handguns, homicides, that was unprecedented, a spike in opioid deaths that was unprecedented. I mean, the statistics are all there for us to see. And now that the hysteria of the pandemic is over, the mainstream media feels free to discuss it, but they always refer to it as simply the toll of the pandemic, not the toll of policy choices that were made without popular input.